baseball was in the midst of the golden age in 1936. The New York Yankees took home the trophy this year in an exciting series. The World Series was six games in which the Yankees won four and the Giants took two. The Giants started off the series 1-0 behind a well-pitched game. The Yankees won game two with a score of 18-4, setting the record for most runs scored in a single World Series game. Yankees' Lou Gehrig hit home runs in back-to-back games. In Game 3 and Game 4, both ended up in Yankees' wins. However, the Yanks went on to drop a close Game 5, but then got revenge as they closed out the series with a win in Game 6. With this World Series title, the Yankees have the most World Series wins with 5. The Yankees had set many records throughout the season, and to top it off, Lou Gehrig was named the American League's most valuable player. This was the team's first World Series win without the great Babe Ruth as he retired from baseball in 1934. The Yankees have a new star-studded lineup with big bats such as Lou Gehrig and Joe DiMaggio as the Yankees look to continue their success. This New York Yankees team also had a total of eight players go and play in the All-Star game so the future for this team is looking pretty bright. The 1936 Olympics in Berlin, Germany were held from August 1st to the 16th in a tense political atmosphere. As Adolf Hitler tried to use the Olympic platform to demonstrate his beliefs of Aryan racial superiority. Pamphlets and speeches about the natural superiority of the Aryan race were common. Germany promoted the Olympics with very colorful posters and magazines in which depicted that German civilization was the rightful heir of the Aryan race. 49 teams from around the world competed in the Olympic Games. Germany led the Games with a total of 89 medals, 33 gold, 26 silver, and 30 bronze. The most popular hero of the Games was Jesse Owens, the African-American sprinter and long jumper, won four gold medals. Four gold medals, ladies and gentlemen, four. This year's games were the first to be televised and broadcasted. Basketball, canoeing, and field handball made their first appearances as well. The Berlin Olympics introduced the torch relay, in which a lighted torch was carried from Olympia in Greece to Berlin, Germany. Apart from the medals, athletes also received a winner's crown, along with an oak tree in a pot. An estimated of $30 million were spent on the venues for the games, although more than 4 million tickets were sold. In January of this year, President Roosevelt asked Congress for $1.4 billion for more relief work to add to the $4.9 million that he had already asked for in 1935. As the nation enters a presidential election year, conservatives continue to regret the taxation they saw involved in servicing the debt. The Roosevelt administration is allowing more power to labor unions. This summer, the Federal Reserve looked at the large volume of excess reserves piled up in the banking system and concluded that this mountain of liquidity could be forged for future inflation, and began to withdraw it. Roosevelt looked at what seemed to be a large substantial amount of federal budget deficit, and concluded that it was time to put the nation's fiscal house in order and started raising taxes and reducing spending, which transformed the federal budget from a deficit of 3.8% of GDP to a surplus of 0.2%. The colony has been growing rapidly since 1933 as there has been a 12% annual growth in money. After four extremely long years with 96 fatalities and filled with lots of headache and triumph, the Hoover Dam is finally complete. People started working on the Hoover Dam in the year 1931 and finished today, year 1936. About 21,000 workers contributed to its construction and a lot of those people sacrificed a lot so the Hoover Dam can be finished.
over 100 men lost their lives, and 96 of those men are identified as official industrial fatalities. These men did not die in vain. Their sacrifice will help generations to come. The main reason for building, building the Hoover Dam is so that they can supply hydroelectric power and river regulations and improve navigation. Building the Hoover Dam was a challenge as the people dangled 800 feet to clear canyon walls. At the completion of the Hoover Dam, it made history for being the largest dam in the world. Hoover Dam is named after Herbert Hoover, who is Secretary, Secretary of C Commerce. He came up with the idea to divide the water among the seven states. Secretary of Interior Ray L. Wilbur announced that the structure will be called Hoover Dam at a 1930 dedication ceremony. The Hoover Dam fueled the development of major cities like Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Phoenix. The Hoover Dam has the energy to power 1.3 million houses, which means it can help millions of Americans. Baseball was in the midst of the golden age in 1936. The New York Yankees took home the trophy. Good morning, I am Kevin Sandoval. The story trending this hour is about Charles Luciano, also known as Lucky. Charles Luciano was an Italian mobster born in Salvatore, Italy, who operated here in the United States. He is considered the father of all modern organized crime in the United States. He was called Lucky because of all the murderous attacks he escaped from and all the gambling luck he had. Luciano was involved in all sorts of criminal activities such as illegal gambling, extortion, bookmaking, loan sharking, and drug trafficking. But in 1936, Charles Lucky Luciano was prosecuted by District Attorney Thomas E. Dewey. The trial was from May 13, 1936 to June 7. 1936. He was found guilty by Judge Philip J. McCook and he was sentenced to 30 years in prison for compulsory prostitution. This case was a paradox because it shows that no matter how much money or protection a crime boss has, they can always be convicted and sentenced to long imprisonment. The United States presidential election of 1936 was the 38th quadrennial presidential election. The election was held on Tuesday, November 3, 1936, during the middle of the Great Depression. President Franklin D. Roosevelt defeated the Republican Governor Alf Landon of Kansas. Roosevelt won the highest share of the popular and electoral vote. He broke record winning the electoral vote 523 to 8. He received around 27.7 million votes while Landon got only 16.6 .6 million votes. In total, Roosevelt received around 60.8% of the votes while Landon only got 36.5% of the votes. Roosevelt carried every state except Maine and Vermont. President and Vice President John Nance Garner were renominated. President Roosevelt continued to work on his New Deal economic policy to go through Congress and the courts. Some of the New Deal economic policy he had already enacted were Social Security and unemployment benefits, which made Americans very happy and helped him get re-elected in the presidential election of 1936.